Well, listen to Trudeau in Parliament today. What a disgrace. Do we want to become a country of irreconcilable differences? Where people talk, but refuse to listen. Where politicians are ordering police to arrest people. A country where people think they can tamper with rail lines and endanger lives. This is simply unacceptable. We cannot solve these problems on the margins. That is not the way forward. I know that people's patience is running short. We need to find a solution, and we need to find it now. So, so that just sort of ended the, with, with nothing. No deadline, no rule of law. That, he had a line in there about po politicians telling police what to do. It's a bit rich from the prime minister who directed the police to arrest and frame Mark Norman, the vice admiral of the Canadian uh, military, simply for embarrassing Trudeau. But actually, it is the job of the police to enforce the law, uphold the law. And it's clear that far from being told to enforce the law, they clearly have been told not to enforce it. Just like Trudeau tried to get Jody Wilson-Raybould not to enforce the law against SNC-Lavalin. Uh, reminder, the head of the RCMP is a hand-picked Trudeau woman, especially chosen as a gender hire. A political hire, this woman here. Uh, she won't investigate Trudeau for SNC Lavalin. She won't touch eco terrorism on the railways. One last development uh, later today in Parliament Trudeau convened an emergency meeting. His Liberals, the separatist Bloc Quebecois, which has recently come out forcefully against any oil and gas pipelines and the Tech Frontier oil sands mine. And the Green Party and the NDP were invited too. Every party in Parliament was invited to Trudeau's crisis meeting, except the official opposition Conservatives, because they, you know, disagreed with Trudeau. About an hour ago, I had a meeting with uh, Mr. Singh, Mr. Blanchet, and Ms. May uh, to discuss how uh, this government is working to uh, engage in peaceful resolution of uh, this situation. Mr. Schiller, Mr. Schiller uh, disqualified himself from uh, constructive discussions with his unacceptable speech earlier today. Got it. So criticizing the government is unacceptable speech, and he's disqualified from having a seat at the table, even though he's the official opposition. So we don't really have a minority government in Canada anymore, do we? We now have a coalition government. All the parties that despise the oil and gas industry, all the parties that hate Alberta, all the parties that are fine with lawlessness in the name of Aboriginal solidarity, but that do so falsely because they stand not with the true Indian bands who support the pipelines, but with the fake ones who oppose it, and with some drug dealer. <laughs> That's Trudeau's coalition with destroyers, including the Bloc Québécois. You know, just the other day, Justin Trudeau warmly greeted and shook hands and even patted on the back a senior dictator in Iran's government who just murdered dozens of Canadians by shooting down a civilian airliner. Look at Trudeau smiling. Trudeau would meet with him and warmly greet him, but not the leader of the opposition who wants to build a pipeline. Justin Trudeau put on hold his plans to go to Barbados today. It would have been, what, his fourth or fifth junket in 2020. I've lost track. You know Trudeau loves the Caribbean. He came back to do what? To announce what? Nothing. He might as well have gone on his fifth vacation. He's not here mentally. He's still got that vacation beard that don't give a damnness about him. That's an excerpt from The Ezra Levant Show, which is a show I do every day. I do a monologue, interview an interesting guest, and then I read my hate mail. But you've got to subscribe to it, which you can do at premium.rebelnews.com.